dive into. My name is Fabian Elliott. I work, so I wear a couple different hats. So the, the hat that's most relevant to today in this presentation is I'm the founder of Black Tech Mecca, and we're talking more about uh, what we're doing and the technology we're building. And my, my other hat uh, that I do on my day job, as I mentioned, is I serve as an ad tech consultant at Google, as well as I, I serve as our global co-chair for our black employee group uh, at the company. So. Uh, that keeps me busy during the day, and then we, we run and do our Black Tech Mecca capers uh, at night and on the weekends, so it's been great. And we have Myron and Corey, they're going to introduce themselves a bit later as we get into uh, the presentation. But thinking about what is Black Tech Mecca, so our vision is pretty bold and it's pretty clear as far as we want to transform Chicago into the global Black Tech Mecca. So if you're black and you're in tech, no matter any other cities across the world, Chicago is a place that has an environment that's conducive uh, for your success. And our mission, or how we plan to go about that, is connecting the black tech ecosystem, driving ecosystem growth, and as well as using that to transform the city. And how we even came to this bold task or this bold vision is we we're looking for ways on how we can make Chicago a beacon in the black community, how can we make Chicago a beacon in the tech community, how can we make Chicago a beacon in the world? And instead of trying to tackle three separate issues, we say, hey, why don't we just converge it all together and make Chicago the global black tech neck and have some fun doing it? So that is how we've uh, arrived at you know, what we're looking to do and how we're looking to uh, kind of go about it at a high level. Now, a, couple, a few steps back, Chicago has a few interesting elements at play across three different buckets. So some of the, some of the, the makeup of the black community here what's going on with the tech industry, and then some of the aspirations that the city has for itself. So uh, looking at the black community, there's a huge black nucleus here in Chicago, and Chicago is arguably the, the heart of the black community here in the US, as well as there's an affluent and very influential members of the black community here in Chicago. However, there's also some very acute challenges that the black community faces. Some of the ones that are most relevant to this conversation is a uh, 25% unemployment rate, 2.5. Bear in mind, that's also the, the largest unemployment rate across the five most popular cities in the United States. So very acute problems. Also, a third, or 34% of the black community uh, currently lives under the poverty line. So you have these interesting dynamics of a very influential, large black community, but with some very sharp issues. Then you look at the, the tech community here in Chicago, <coughs> getting into digital manufacturing, incubators are popping, out, uh, popping up all around the city. We have a lot of momentum. And then you look at the third element as far as the city of Chicago. The city of Chicago has a, digital, dig, uh, has a very significant and in-depth strategic digital economy uh, strategy that they've put together. And one of the biggest pieces that's, that they're requesting and that's needed to make the strategy go is that all Chicagoans, as many Chicagoans as possible, need to find a way to be able to participate and contribute value to the digital economy. So uh, just give you a little bit of information about myself. Like Fabian, I also have a day job. My day job is I work for J.P. Morgan Chase. Um, and at night, I put on the cape and I work with Black Tech Mecca as the product manager. <laughs> and so when there are problems and issues that arise, I try to fill holes and bring everybody together from our developers to our executive team. And in doing so, one of the big issues that we needed to understand was where we are. And so where we are right now is we've gathered quite a bit of data. You know, Fabian went over a lot of the information that we've already collected. And so we realized that we need to do something with that data. The first thing we need to do is get people together. And so creating a directory, we need to create a strategy to get people to log in, and sign up, and provide information about themselves. That's really the first thing that we need to do. <coughs> Next, uh, we needed to talk about where we're going. So beyond just having a directory where people can come in and get involved, there needs to be some sort of special sauce, right? What keeps people involved? What keeps people engaged? And what's going to get them sharing information and ideas? Because part of the connect and direct strategy is sharing information amongst one another. Something a little different from some of the other directories and networks out there that provides direct value to the community that we're trying to serve. 